Now that we know how to install a gizmo, what about Python code? Well, that can be a little bit more complicated, so bear with me. Let's say this Python code was sent to me by a friend. It includes an import statement, a function up here, which is then used in a second function down here, and also it came with the interface code. I could just be lazy and copy the whole thing and dump it straight into my menu py. Save the whole thing, relaunch nuke, and uh, let's give it a try. I'm going to create a few nodes for the auto backdrop function to work on, select them, and now in my other menu I find a new auto backdrop menu, even with a hotkey it came, awesome. Select it and look at that, it's doing exactly what we want. However, if you now go back to your menu py, it's a bloody mess. Also, the functions you create in here are not accessible to command line renders in case they are needed. So I wouldn't really recommend doing it this way. So let's go ahead and cut this whole thing and only keep the interface definition because that's what the menu py is for. If you examine this bit here, you'll see that it's exactly the same command as up here, except that this time around the variable that holds this menu object is called menu, whereas we used the word toolbar before. So to clean this up, I'm just going to kill this line because it's redundant, and then make sure that the subsequent code that was relying on the menu variable is now using the toolbar variable. And now we've cleaned up the menu py and created two new entries, one for the slice tool and one for the auto backdrop. So that's taken care of that. Next let's go to the script editor and um, paste that code that I just cut from the file. And um, from here we can now save that into a new file and just like I did with the gizmos I want to create a new directory that holds all my Python code. So I'll create a new directory and save the whole content of my script editor into a file called my tools, for example. Save that. And now let's go back to our home.nuke directory. You see the new Python directory with a new Python file. And just like we did before, now that we've created a new subdirectory, we need to let the init py know about that directory so nuke can actually use it. So we'll just duplicate that line and swap the word gizmos for Python. So now we're sourcing both gizmos and Python subdirectories. That's good, so let's save that. And you would think that's all it takes, so let's have a look at uh, whether or not our new setup works. Create a couple of nodes again. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Select them all. And now we do find our auto backdrop item because our menu py is defining it. When we run it, we're getting an error saying that the auto backdrop function is not defined. This is because we put the whole auto backdrop function into an external file now called my tools, whereas before it was living inside the menu py and was accessible on the same level. By putting it into an external file, we effectively created a module called my tools. So now, back in the menu py, we need to first of all tell the menu py that it's supposed to import that new module. So we type import my tools. And once you do this at the top of your menu py, anything that lives in the my tools module is now accessible throughout the menu py. However, you need to reference that so-called namespace. It's all getting a bit geeky now. So instead of just typing auto backdrop like here, you now have to type my tools dot auto backdrop. And this will tell Nuke to look into that new module that we created here and find the function contained within it called auto backdrop. So let's save this and close Nuke. And select another couple of nodes to see if this will work. And now running this is spitting out an error saying that the global name nuke is not defined. This may sound very strange, but if you look at the MyTools module, 
you'll find that it uses commands that are attached to the nuke object like nuke.nodes or nuke.selected nodes. Before this wasn't a problem because we were running it from inside the menu py and the menu py knows the nuke object, meaning the nuke specific Python commands. However, now that this is living in an external file, we have to explicitly import those specific Python commands, like so. If I now save this file, and now I'm very optimistic things will work, select our nodes, and now we've got our auto backdrop working and we also have a clean directory structure and file structure in our home.nuke directory.